Hello, I'm Dr Anna Fitzer, Senior Lecturer in English at the University of Hull. Hull is a great place to study English and our students study on a programme which is broad in chronological scope at the same time that it allows students to focus upon particular areas of English literature with a view to developing their own specialisms. Students here are taught by scholars whose research is world leading and internationally excellent. And we endeavour to help you every step of the way in your journey. Our modules focus on particular periods such as the Renaissance and the Victorian novel to name just two, but they can also be thematically structured. And to give you one example, I teach a module called Voyage Out, Navigating the Language and Literature of the Sea. This will see you looking at texts from Homer's The Odyssey up until Monique Roffey's 2020 award-winning novel, The Mermaid of Black Conch. Looking at literature and the sea enables students to think about some of the most urgent challenges that we face, particularly in relation to our environment. As a student of English, you're not only developing your knowledge of literature, but also the way in which you express your responses to those writings. What's really distinctive about our programme here at Hull is the way in which we run our module assessments. We see these as an opportunity for you to develop skills, not only in terms of your academic writing, but in terms of how you might express your responses to reading the world to diverse audiences. If I can give you an example of this, I run a module called Secret Scandals and Rebellions. This is one of those modules that's organised around a theme, but it also allows us to look at literature across a broad chronological range. We start with writing by Mary Wollstonecraft and work through the 19th century until we arrive at Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray. We think about the particular historical, social and other literary contexts of these works as they were written within their particular moment. But we're also particularly interested in the relevance of these earlier writings to the way in which we understand the world now. I encourage my students to develop that response by writing, for example, not an academic essay for their first assessment, but they write up a particular scandal or secret or rebellion that they've encountered in one of these texts in the form of a newspaper report. This means that if you're interested in going into journalism, for example, you can start to develop your skills in that mode of writing. It also means that you're approaching the particular scandal in that text from a viewpoint which is of interest to diverse audiences. So students also work on another assessment, which is an online project, and this sees them working collaboratively, which is a really important skill. The programme isn't all about what we would like you to study, but it also gives you the opportunity to work on an area of research that you'd like to develop. This is a way of bringing your interest into the programme and really making it unique and your own. In English, we have a great community of scholars and we really look forward to you joining us. If you'd like to come and see us and talk a bit more about the programmes and about your interests, then do sign up for an open day. We really look forward to seeing you.